Sometimes you encounter a game that you just fall in love with. But after a while, you wonder if it really was as good as you initially thought, or if it just happened to be the right game for you at the right moment. When I first started playing Fumes, I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that the game throws you right into the action. Seriously, there's no stop at a main menu, there's no intro cutscene, hell, the car's already in motion when you're thrust right into the game. You get a minimal inline tutorial with no gameplay interruption, thankfully the controls are fairly standard, and that's it. The game doesn't even check to make sure you're ready before you're attacked by several waves of baddies and your first boss. I checked, it's only about 25 seconds from the title to combat. It's honestly a refreshing change from games that force you into a slow-paced tutorial, but Fumes doesn't need a lot of time to get the point across, as you'll soon see. You start off with a car with two mounted weapons, but I wouldn't get too attached to it, because you'll also get introduced fairly quickly to the demo's big bad, a four-wheeled monstrosity of metal, flames, and fury called Bavarius. Don't sweat it too much, because you actually don't stand a chance, there's just no way that you can win this fight. You can't even do any damage to him, at least not yet. I'm never too sure how I feel about an unbeatable boss fight, but it gives you an idea of what you'll eventually be up against. Makes the first boss that you can actually defeat look like an absolute chump, though. After you're soundly defeated by Bavarius, we get a hint of a story. Your essence, or fumes for lack of a better term, floats into a new vehicle that you can control immediately. Scrapper, your buddy that operates as a mobile mechanic, calls you the passenger, so it seems like you're some sort of mystical being or spirit that floats from one entity to another after death. I wonder if they'll flesh that out more in the full game. I definitely like to know more about it, and story and lore are two of the things that are on the dev's roadmap. What's the passenger's purpose? Is it vengeance? Is it glory? Or does he just have a penchant for violence and blowing stuff up? Who knows? That's pretty much the end of the intro sequence. At this stage, you're free to explore the procedurally generated environment. You also have multiple red map indicators on your radar. These stages consist of, again, multiple waves of baddies, but reward you with valuable gear to upgrade your ruinous ride. Once you complete all the red stages, a purple one will appear. The next boss fight. Prepare yourself as best you can and ready yourself for that fight, because the bosses don't fight alone. They also bring along with them waves and waves of lackeys to help ruin your day. However, the upside is that this provides the only means of healing in the middle of a fight. There are no power-ups like in Twisted Metal. Wear down the number of lackeys and the bosses will use some sort of mystical power of their own to spawn new ones. The upside is you'll get a considerable health bump as a result, which is great for those tough, grueling boss fights. Once you defeat a boss, you unlock a new vehicle and usually a new weapon type, as well as the regular scrap items. Stay with your current vehicle or upgrade to the new one, select your armament, skins, and whatever, and rinse and repeat until all baddies have been defeated. That's pretty much the demo in a nutshell. Despite the simplicity, the gameplay is a hell of a lot of fun. It's fast, the physics are very forgiving, making for some super fun highlight reels, and there were times I felt more like I was playing bumper cars with lethal weapons strapped to them. Not that that's a bad thing, it adds to the game's unique style of car combat. The level of customization is also really surprising for a demo. You end up with a lot of different vehicles to choose from and about 10 different weapon types. Prefer picking people off from a distance with a steady hand? I highly suggest the Pounder, although you have to watch out for the recoil and the reload times. Want to get up close and personal with your enemies? Well, you have a few different options here. You can go with a shell gun, pyro blitz, or even a combination. Find whatever combination works for you and go out and do some damage. I couldn't finish this video off without mentioning the soundtrack. It's a great punk metal mix that gets your blood pumping during combat stages and leaves you with tense anticipation in between. It's one of the things I'm most anticipating about the full game. I think it's obvious by this point that I'm a big fan. I certainly don't want to put any more on the dev's plate, but I'd absolutely love to be able to play this game with friends. Either multiplayer head-to-head -head or co-op, alternate game modes like Kill the Carrier or even Capture the Flag would be interesting. I could go on, but the point is that the gameplay is so much fun that I would want to find different ways to experience it and extend the replayability. I highly recommend trying out the demo, which you can download from Steam or Itch. Links will be in the description. Try it out and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm going to keep trying to find new games to love. I hope you do the same. If you've got any suggestions for future videos, put them in the comments and I'll try my best to get to them. So long.